Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes again from Palm Investigation UK. Um, I've got an unusual one for you today. Um, this is relative again to the empty room. This is the same date of the uh, 13th of, um, of March 2021. And the times are on this one. Is 10157. Um, this is almost two o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, and there's also this other one at the far end of the um, of the same room. So both cameras this time have picked the anomaly up. So I had a quick look through this earlier. I thought, well. <clears throat> How can we progress with this one? Because it is one and quite unusual. Um, but there may be clues there we can find and try and see if we can get um, an explanation for this. So I thought what we'll do, we set off, is when I was there, this is the 13th of March, I was actually in that um, building on the 27th of February uh, what that would be about two weeks before <clears throat> and I actually did a quick like walk through movie so what I'm going to do I'm going to actually take you through this um, there we are <clears throat> so this is the first floor this is a set of stairs here that door leads into the big empty room which are these this room here okay right it's Tony Ogin there let's just turn that volume down let's see what I get up to so there's the stairs okay this is the only way up to this room this has got some light sensors, so if you come walking up these steps or stairs, you trigger the light sensor. Okay, all of these are fire doors, all got with this glass on. Once that happens, that lights up because the, the light sensor switch on the security lights, that lights up, camera picks it up because it and likewise the other side so i'm pretty confident that i actually walk in yeah i do actually go inside it's also got a key code entry pitch black as you can see and then i fumble around trying to find the lights for the building there we go so we're actually inside um, the empty building That camera there is one that was set up just for that particular night. The normal camera is there. That's the camera that's fixed there. So we can get a better shot of that. That camera there. There you go. <coughs> and the other camera is on that is there okay so they removed this particular night we're in there but these are the cameras we're looking at now um, so you can actually have a, a full view so the camera is now placed on there so that is the view that you have on there this is what these two movies that we're looking at now uh, this is just replaced the camera was placed on there so you see it's completely empty um, it's got no false ceiling it's just simply straight into the um, roof area um, steel framed it's substantial building concrete floors um, so what's going on 
at two o'clock on a Saturday morning. So let's look at the first one, the first movie. Uh, both the time the same, so the, the both cameras are actually um, triggered on this particular one. Okay. So this is like coming from the entry to the door, that's the, the um, walkway. And look what happens. Now, if you're wondering what that light is there, the camera's been put onto the window, back onto the window. Both cameras are using infrared uh, to get, otherwise you won't be able to see anything, it would just be pitch black. Because both streams of infrared are striking each other, you're going to get this white out effect. The closer they get, the bigger the white out. So unfortunately that's just, it's just part and parcel of the, the infrared. Turn the volume back up. Let's go again. Now, what well, as a reminder, this is 35 foot up in the air. It's on the first floor. We don't have vehicles lighting up this room. We looked at this before. Uh, you might get a little bit of sort of lightness, um, but the vehicles headlamps tend to point in towards the ground floor rather than the actual first floor and this is the first one up to now in a year and a half where we've actually had some sort of alarm which indicates some sort of light source now that blinks off that definitely blinks off however if we go back to the original film that I used, uh, where we the walk through. Okay, in the empty room, and what I'm doing now, there's the stairs. Those in the canteen and whatever so forth. Another hallway, and there's two businesses on the other end, one to the left, one to the right. Multiple cameras all over the place. Another camera there on the wall. There. Multiple cameras in the other room. So... If we are in fact dealing with a power court, why is that light flicker? Uh, sorry, why don't any of the other lights, uh, cameras, indicate that's the case? I don't know. None of the other rooms are affected. It just this this one room. The hallway doesn't get affected. Uh, nothing at all yet yeah, there seems to be a light blink out here this is some sort of electrical fault we could possibly slow it down and see if we can find any clues on it that, that may be the answer way to go it appears also to be some sounds So that's that one, that's looking from the main door into the room. So what happens if we look at the, the other one? Right, it's the same again. I just, I just really don't know what's happened here with the 
Um, what I'm going to do is try and um, it's like that configure the movie and slow it down. Just start to see in a second. Right. There. I don't know. <laughs> um, I really don't know. Let me um, split that. Move it. I just got to bring the other movie in after it. Um, let's look at that one. Let's wait for that to configure. So it's the same room, just looking, it's the camera on the other side of the road, uh, the room now, looking into here. Uh, Let's um, expand it, because it comes quite early on. So for the camera to alert at this point, the environment mustn't have changed. It had to be the same or it would have done gradually. So for example, if it's light going into darkness, our darkness going to light, because it's done gradually, it's not, it doesn't accept it as an alert event and doesn't record. If it's sudden, suddenly the environment changes, then it does. Right, it happens there, doesn't it? Oh, the light goes out there. I 
I'm just wondering if it's some sort of street lighting that's failed. Just cut a little bit more off that. I really don't know what's, uh, what to think on this one. Um, Phil might... Um, have you got any thoughts on this one? Just that, that very early, early stuff. Well, that's all the full, all the events captured. Um, <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll look at the sound. Um, because what's going through my head? What could account for this? I'm not sure if it's um, a problem with the building. I'm getting to warm to the fact it's something outside. This caused the issue, not the building. Um, having an electrical problem because it, that would have affected all the cameras and all of them would have alerted. So that sort of uh, suggests it's something outside. So what could be outside? It, could it be traffic? Unlikely because we've never had that before. Uh, if traffic's passing, co coming into the centre, they would, such as security, um, we would have had these before, we don't, because it's quite high up, um, and when cars are passing, I've been in the room, and you don't see vehicle lights, you may see a little bit of a change at the window, but not enough to trigger the camera, not to this extent anyway. 
Well, if it is outside, why that earth is it? Taking out the uh, safety lights that should be illuminated at all times. So if the, if the room is subjected to um, electrical failure, the escape light should remain on. Oh, they don't, they go out, I think they go out. Yeah, they actually goes out. That should not happen. Out of the two, this second one seems to be have more sound going on within the within the, the stream. So let's have a look at that. The thing is with investigation. Sometimes you can actually be investigating a natural event. Uh, that isn't the problem. That's your job. Because without it, people will have a paranormal uh, belief when it could be have a completely different um, outcome. So, let's have a look at this. There is sound. Okay. I've been analysing, even though I don't know what I'm actually analysing yet. Um, been the cure because I was down when I have to amplify there. Right, let's go. God, it's even getting stranger now. is going on here. <coughs> How about to amplify this to death? Um, that's normal volume. a thump of signal there. I really don't know what that is. It sounds like people talking. Another rat there. I 
that wrap there is the same as that one there. Just not quite as loud. So let's look at these two. This is the first one. That's that one. Let's get the volume down. I'm just going to call it noise one. <clears throat> then we have this other one. loud Very close, aren't they? On uh, on frequency, certainly different volumes. That's it. The second one actually amplify it up quite hard. Uh, that's the early one, the first one. That's the second one. I just start turning the volume up. <clears throat> A very similar frequency. Um, in principle, the sound shouldn't be there, but buildings are not completely uh, quiet and silent um, have the anything to do with these two light anomalies that occur I don't know. I don't know. A uh, bit of an edge scratcher that one. So we've got two uh, reflection or two lights, uh, two CCTV cameras tricking at the same time to some sort of light anomaly. <coughs> we can rule out cameras problem because they wouldn't have both fired up at the same time. There's some problem with the camera. Um, on one hand, it's not inside the the light anomaly isn't inside the room because none of the other rooms were affected, um, which sort of suggests that if you've got a power failure, all the building would have been affected. How would I think it would do? What I find strange is when the um, if they subjected to um, electrical failure, the two exit lights or safety lights have batteries and would have stayed lit, but they go out, which suggests that something to do with inside the building and not the outside of the building. 
Um, and when you listen to it, there's an awful lot of um, sound that's taking place. Let's go back to the beginning. So that sounds like a voice, that thing did. Considering this is two o'clock in the morning, It's almost like, it reminds me of like the um, sound of a cafe, you know, a cafe when people are having the lunch or whatever. I'm just going to make a note of this time, of this strange, it sounds like a voice. So it's about 36, 37 seconds, isn't it? Yeah, so let me get rid of that. Make another one for the video clip. Um, Just make sure I know which one. So it's <clears throat> that's it. Two four eight or oh. yeah, that's one I've just done. Two four eight so let's all pop that in. <coughs> Again we'll concentrate on the audio just to see if um, we can get anything to in principle the sound should be picked up by both cameras if it's loud enough that is. So um, let's turn that up. So it's between 36 and 37 seconds. Okay, it's coming up to that point now.
Hmm. Picking up different stuff. I don't know. Um, I just don't know what that is. Right, okay. Uh, forever getting stranger this place. Um, Right, okay. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know what that could be. Um, no. Any ideas, please, please let me know because I'm scratching my head there. Um, well, that'd be cool. Okay, see you on the next movie.